This is the High Density Espalier Gardener, and this is another update on my figs. Uh, it has two parts to this update. One, I'm going to show my uh, fig trees that are all espaliered and growing together. I'm going to, I would like to point out a few things. One, we have harvested at least 200 to 250 figs from these trees so far in this past few months. Um, and they, they still have a lot of figs on here. We have the brown turkeys here that are in different stages of getting ripe. Back here. Actually, that is that fig back there is a Violette de Bordeaux. We have several of the Violette de Bordeaux figs that are look like they're pretty much ready. I'll be harvesting those in a little bit. As a matter of fact, go ahead and harvest it. And that's what it looks like inside. It's like a strawberry um, color and very, very fruity. When, I mean, I picked it a little early. It's still, it's still going to be delicious at this stage. If you leave it on until it's super soft, it tastes like a, um, a berry, um, not strawberry, more like a kind of a blueberry blackberry flavor it's hard to describe but the violet the bordeaux figs are just so delicious anyway um even though there are still a lot of figs on here and a lot more coming out um, the ones that are really starting to come on strong now are the panache the little yellow and green striped uh, figs they um, are probably about 50, maybe 60 uh, figs out so far, and more are coming in. Right where each um, leaf is, there will be a new fig. So we'll probably end up harvesting maybe, I don't know, 100, 150 panache figs, and those are really good too. I mean, uh, I love the brown turkey figs. Uh, but my favorite is the pana uh, excuse me the violette de bordeaux and uh, the um, panache figs oh holy cow okay i'm going to show you the size of some of the uh, figs we've been getting this is um one of the brown turkey figs look at the size of that sucker and that's not even one of the biggest ones. The ones that have been the biggest have fit in the palm of my hand. Okay, so I um, did an experiment. So I showed you now my trees and, and how we've harvested a couple hundred at least. And we still have, I don't know, another 150 to 200 figs coming out. So we have a lot of figs coming out. But I tried an experiment on uh, cuttings of the figs. And I put those uh, cuttings in bottles with rooting powder. I did probably a dozen uh, of the cuttings and the majority of them did not work out. However, I wanted to show that uh, some of them did. I have uh, three that actually survived. So basically a quarter of the figs that I did cuttings on um, worked. So I'm going to keep trying, figuring out how to to um, uh, perfect the um, rooting of the cuttings. I have two different kinds here. I have uh, Black Mission figs and I have a Celeste. So I now have with these if these survive it looks like they're doing pretty well if these survive I will have a total of five different kinds of figs 
and uh, one of my friends who I sent uh, cuttings to, uh, Fruits for Life, his name is Vinny, uh, just let me know that he's going to be sending me some cuttings from his figs. So, um, it looks like I may have uh, at least half a dozen or more types of uh, figs growing here on my garden. If you have any comments or questions, please post them and I will respond as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.